I, I, what's really going on in Bitcoin cryptocurrency today? Going to be taking a look at Cardano ADA. Going to be taking a look at some of these technical aspects of price action moving forward. Going to be assessing some of the pivotal areas of support and resistance I believe we're going to be interacting with in the very near future here. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Do you trade? Do you hold? Or do you let the price action unfold? You know, what are your thoughts on kind of price action moving forward? Uh, are, you, are you bullish? Do you think we found support and we're looking to interact with these kind of like multi-dollar levels that we just kind of just came from? Uh, or are we bearish still and we're going to, you know, plow through potential support here and interact with some kind of lower levels that we've been kind of trapped in uh, for some weeks kind of like not too long ago? Uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, price action in the comments down below. What are you doing with your bag if you have one? Now, jumping right into it. Uh, to kind of recap price action that has interacted with um, these kind of like significant ranges of support and resistance, I believe we're going to be kind of bouncing in between uh, the kind of near future here. Uh, price action has interacted with this ascending trend line that I have started kind of at the back in like the COVID crash in kind of middle of March of 2020. Uh, we have price action interacting with this ascending trend line um, as resistance at the kind of like 6th and 18th of January. And then it wasn't until the kind of beginning of February where we had the momentum um, built up to kind of break that significant kind of resistance along that ascending trend line to interact with these kind of like upper levels near a dollar here. Uh, price action interacted with um, some significant resistance around uh, kind of like 93 cents on the 11th to 19th of February. Uh, price action had to require like to build a momentum. This kind of like significant pullback uh, was enough to kind of bring us up through this resistance to enter this new range between kind of a dollar and eight cents. Uh, we had some bold, some pullbacks, some retests to continue the uptrend. Uh, price action started to interact with some kind of upper resistance here between a uh, dollar 38 and a dollar 48. Um, that kind of like 10 cent zone there was uh, significant enough resistance to bring price action back down toward that kind of lower range that we had to plow through uh, kind of near 94 cents and a dollar and eight cents uh, upon support found in that range uh, we interacted with that kind of like 10 cent zone between a uh, dollar 38 and a dollar 48 um, as resistance kind of like multiple times uh, before we were able to kind of break it so we had uh, kind of like a retest off of this upper zone. We had like uh, that first one in the 27th of February, another one in the 18th of uh, March, and then we had interaction with that range as resistance uh, for a few days, 14th and kind of 17th of April. And then came back down to that lower zone, um, ultimately to kind of find support for the final time before breaking that um, significant uh, range of resistance and this kind of upper range here to interact with um, that swing high at the kind of near $2.50, so like $2.45 became the kind of like uh, most kind of um, lower local swing high here. And we now seem to be plummeting back down uh, to these kind of lower ranges. And so um, based on the fundamental bullishness of Cardano still and the high demand for uh, Cardano at these levels, um, we are getting bought up kind of very quickly. And so price action coming back down to retest this lower zone was very bullish uh, for these kind of two candles here. Um, although I do believe uh, price action is in a bit of a pivotal state at the moment. If we do fail to hold support along this ascending trend line, I believe uh, interaction with that um, kind of like $1.38 level is uh, is pending. And then perhaps a retest upward of $1.48 to confirm that as resistance. And if we continue to be bearish, I believe uh, price action bouncing between $1.08 and $1.38 is going to be the kind of like key range. I believe uh, we're going to find uh, some kind of swings upward and downward in if we fail to kind of hold uh, kind of where we are currently. Now, this will be very significant support if we do manage to hold above $1.38. We can be more bullish if we hold $1.48. Uh, but if we do fail to hold support along this ascending trend line or along $1.38, I do believe we are likely headed to $1.08, perhaps that $1 kind of round psychological level uh, to find support uh, before we kind of move uh, forward and continue the trend upward in the long run. Uh, we are still looking quite bullish fundamentally, in my opinion, um, although uh, technically or we're interacting with some very significant sell pressure. And so uh, price action is going to um, have to kind of see, we're going to see how these kind of next couple of days play out before we can before we can consider um, just how uh, short-term bullish or bearish we can be long-term. I believe we're, I believe we're quite bullish, but in the short term, some more downside could present itself uh, in the near future here. So now when we consider engineer robo, Along with the Fibizucchini lines of Illuminati, Sacred Symmetry, and Geometry, we have a new perspective coming to play when we consider interaction with um, the 0 0.618 Fibonacci line at $1.53. Um, I believe that could perhaps be um, the sort of significant local resistance that pushes us 
through support uh, around dollar forty eight. That brings us to one dollar and thirty nine cents. That you know zero point six one eight Fibonacci line at one dollar and fifty three cents does look like it might uh, bring price of action back down if we fail to kind of recover from where we are and bounce and start closing above one dollar and fifty three cents. We can be even more short term bullish. Uh, but in my opinion, that looks like the resistance that's going to bring us down to uh, potentially that one thirty nine. And a more bullish uh, low would be that 0.5 Fibonacci line at $1.24. That would be a very bullish kind of like dip to, to accumulate uh, Cardano during when we're in those kind of those kind of levels. And if price action were to uh, make its way down there, some daily candles were to start closing above that 0.5 Fibonacci line, I would suspect the uptrend to continue uh, much sooner than later. Uh, we do have the 0.382 Fibonacci level uh, supporting 95 cents near my kind of like 94 cent sort of uh, support zone there. Um, that is kind of my most bearish target that I believe price action could make its way down to if we were kind of bearish enough. Uh, although that 0 0.5 Fibonacci line does look like a uh, more bullish target of support. The 0 0.786 line, uh, $1.95 is going to be quite significant resistance moving forward. I believe uh, once we get up to that level, that's going to be a uh, pretty serious sell point that is likely to bring price action kind of back down to a lower support level before we can kind of continue upward through it and interact with that swing high near uh, like two and a half dollars there. Uh, so now, What's going on with uh, Cardano? If we were to consider Cardano against the price of Bitcoin, we can see a new perspective come into play when we consider price action making its way towards support. I believe uh, interaction with resistance uh, was significant enough. This rejection here, I believe uh, the resistance was found kind of around 47, 41, and this is bringing us down to potential support at like 38, 47. In my opinion, if we do fail to hold that range, uh, we are likely to come down to uh, perhaps like 36, 86, um, you know, 33.69. We do have some kind of like lower price levels that we could that could present themselves uh, before we kind of uh, continue upward. When we consider engineering robo along with the Fibbe zucchini lines of Illuminati symmetry, geometry, and Illuminati again, uh, we can see a new perspective come into play. That 0 0.786 line is going to uh, show. Uh, quite significant resistance i believe just above current price action if we were to kind of bounce where we are interact with that 0 0.786 line from beneath it um 40 4056 satoshi is going to be very significant resistance at that 0 0.786 line uh, we were to come up to it and get rejected off of it that is likely to push us all the way down to that 0 0.618 level at 3277 satoshi i ultimately think we're bullish enough to hold there even if we do uh, come down to that range uh, my kind of most bearish target is going to be uh, 30 94 satoshi below that 0 0.618 but like i said i do believe we're bullish enough to bounce off of it if we are even bearish enough to get to it uh, a 0 0.786 line like i said is going to be very significant resistance moving forward uh, we can be more bullish if we can find price action above uh, that level we can be kind of more short-term bullish but although uh, we are looking quite uh, you know quite you know oh quite far from i believe this 200 daily moving average and um, you know, based on how sideways Cardano has a potential of being, uh, we could very well be so sideways that this 200 daily moving average makes its way up to uh, kind of near price action, wherever it might be at that time. And we get a retest off of it before we uh, finally continue upward. Um, you know, as long as we're above that 200 daily moving average against the price of Bitcoin, especially, I do believe the uptrend is still uh, bullish in the long term. We do have the sell for uh, on the price of Bitcoin uh, chart. So suggesting some uh, bearish price action against uh, Bitcoin and Cardano could um, have some, you know, some lows could present itself uh, for accumulation in the kind of near future here. But we do have the moon supporting the uptrend against the price of Bitcoin since the 28th of April. And like I said, we have price action above that 200 daily moving average. So we uh, could we could very well suspect uh, bullish in the long term. But until, um, you know, engineering robo starts getting bullish again, we can be uh, we can be, you know, a tad bearish in the short term. But when we consider Bitcoin against USDT, you can see a new perspective come into play when we consider that 0 0.5 Fibonacci line and the 0 0.618 Fibonacci line. Uh, 0 0.5 line at 34,300 uh, seems to be significant support, uh, significant enough to bounce us all the way up to this upper range of resistance, though but we do appear to be slightly exhausting a little bit. Resistance was found between kind of like 40,500 and like 41,200. We've yet to touch that 41,500 line or interact with that 200 daily moving average again. Uh, we had that one kind of retest off of it in the 26th of May, which was a very technical bearish suggestion, uh, which allowed price action to make its way toward 32K again. Um, ultimately, a bounce on this level, I believe, is uh, quite likely an interaction with these upper ranges is pending. 
um, resistance found at 41,500 or, or under that 200 daily moving average could send price action plummeting all the way back down to where it came from. A nice higher low would be uh, would be support found around 37,400, uh, although we could find our way back down to that 0 0.5 Fibonacci line at 34,300. And if we do see a very, very significant rejection off of uh, the 0 0.618, 32K is still my uh, more significant kind of support line. And my most bearish target still is going to be 27,000 US dollars uh, per Bitcoin at the 0 0.382 Fibonacci line. Um, we can still be long-term bullish if we're down there, but that is going to be my ultimate bottom if we do find our way uh, at those kind of ranges. Now, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hearing my analysis. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you bullish? Are you bearish on price action? Let me know what you're doing with your bag if you have one. Um, you know, do you think we're continuing accumulation? Are we heading downward? Are we gonna? Are some more lows gonna present themselves for the uptrend to continue, uh, or have we found support and we're about to blast above this uh, this moving average and we're gonna see all-time highs again uh, very soon? Thank you for hearing my analysis. Try engineering robo free with the link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the other social media down below and tune in for the next one.